Mullen Automotive today is down 10%. The stock is now trading at 85 cents. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So we all know that the economy is in a, is facing very difficult times. Most stocks are down. Most companies are struggling. The global economy has slowed down and you have a word of another wave of the virus coming in from china with some chinese uh, cities already on shutdown so companies with uh, global supply chains are having difficulties sourcing uh, the materials that go into their final products the ev sector is no stranger to this new paradigm Mullen Automotive just announced that they are doing testing on the individual cells uh, that will go into the battery packs that they will use for their vehicles. The Mullen 5 EV is their Starship vehicle, uh, their flagship vehicle, and that vehicle will be going on a, I would call it a tour of uh, the 19 cities in the United States in 2022, starting uh, somewhere in the fourth quarter. And also you have uh, in spring 2023, Mullen Automotive will also be doing another tour and then uh, they will take with them the sporty version of the Mullen 5, which is the Mullen 5 RS. And uh, that will showcase the technology and the, uh, some of the uh, features of these vehicles. But all of that information still has not allayed fears that Mullen Automotive might not be able to pull this off. This is evidenced by the stock price of Mullen Automotive dropping. I have to stress, however, that they are not the only ones. Almost all sectors, except for maybe uh, the energy sector and uh, some commodities, have not been affected. Everything else is going down. The price of gas is going up. Everybody is looking at acquiring either a hybrid or an EV vehicle. So, it is paradoxical that at this time, the stock price of Mullen Automotive, instead of shooting up, is going down instead. The only th reason, I, the only way I can explain this off, if I were to attempt to do so, would be to say that uh, Mullen Automotive has not been able to show and demonstrate that they are able to produce and even ramp up production of uh, the Mullen 5 and any other EV that they want to bring to market. The PR we are getting at this point in time is that they are still doing some research on individual cells and after that they have to build the battery pack and after that they have to mount it on the vehicle and start testing. So to me it, it would seem that they are still very very far behind compared to other uh, rivals in the same space who are actually delivering vehicles, albeit a bit overpriced and a bit uh, delayed. But they are producing and delivering vehicles that you can actually jump in and drive off. So today I was just going to give you guys this update. Uh, the volume so far is 36 million shares that have exchanged hands compared to an average volume of 147 million shares that would typically exchange hands on a day. The today's range has been from 85 cents all the way up to 93 cents. So that tells me the stock opened quite high today and then slowly dwindled as you guys can see here on this graph. 52 week range is from 52 cents all the way up to $15.89. So we are way, way, way closer to the 52 week low and that is not a good thing because as you guys can see here, it's, it doesn't look pretty at all. Uh, this is a stock at one point was worth $15. Sounds almost unbelievable, but that's the fact. And I believe that was sometime around November 2021, so not so long ago. 
and from then you just have this slow steady decline exacerbated by uh, uh after the uh, the troubles in uh, ukraine and russia you can see the stock picked up some momentum came up from about uh, 62 cents all the way up to about three dollars 20 cents and then from there it's just been a steady painful and slow decline if you look at the top of the, your screen you will see that most of the major indices are also trending downward so it this is not an isolated uh, event it's not affecting just Mullen automotive it's a much broader market-wide phenomenon so with that being said uh i will leave you guys for now and uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below subscribe to the channel and we will keep you guys updated as news comes in thanks for joining me today bye for now